Hey friends, this is Ifa and welcome to my channel. You already know from the title what this video is about. Today, I have a great product to review for you guys. This notebook is from a brand named Yorbojo based in Germany. The founder of Yorbojo personally sent me their new dotted bullet journal to try out. This video is not sponsored and I'm not getting paid for the review. The brand doesn't have any influence on what I'm going to talk about this product. But I got an affiliate code for you to use which is TRIDOPUS10 so that you can get 10% off without any hidden charges and I'll get a little commission from it. Let's jump into the review section. The first thing I'm very curious to let you know that this packaging has no plastic in it. It came with the plastic strap only. It may come from the post I guess. Rather than that this whole package is plastic free. I was very curious to see if the condition were good enough or not, so I only opened this cutting area. Inside of this package, the notebook was wrapped with only tracing paper. This parcel came in a year mail as documents, so I don't think it would come across water. Yorbojo claimed that their notebooks are environment friendly and cardboard packaging is sustainable and recyclable which I can say they totally nailed it. They also claimed in their website that the papers are made from 100% secondary fibers and the paper is bleached without chlorine and chlorine substance. You can find out more about this on their website. They also provided the links of the certified paper supplies there. Mm, first and foremost, I'm pretty satisfied with their packaging and the concern about the environment. So let's talk about the notebook. It's an A5 notebook with 176 pages. Your budget provides only A5 size white paper at the moment and they also provide pre-made bullet journals. They offer three cover colors in dot grid and I chose the beige one. I love the olive one too but I do want some blue and green shaded notebooks so I thought I should use some different colors as well. The hardcover is made of linen fabric which is very nice but there is a problem of this type of linen fabric that they pick up dirt easily. It has a little gold gilded dotted design in the bottom and it has thin ribbon bookmark which is slightly lighter than the cover. It has a black pen loop a back pocket and elastic rubber band like classic notebooks in the market. This elastic rubber band is tight enough and doesn't hang in the back, which I know many of you will like because we don't need to put the elastic in the back pages if it makes any sense. After opening this notebook, you'll find the logo and enough space to write your name and details. And then the dotted pages begin. There's no extra pages for the index. The papers are 150 GSM but they said in their website that it behaves like 180 GSM due to its 1.2 volume. Um, I don't know what it means. Let's see. The papers are numbered and have light grey dots, 5mm apart. These papers feel very smooth and they're very white but if we compare this with the notebook therapy suki paper and the regular printer paper, it kinda looks a bit off in camera but without that it looks white in beer eyes. The notebook lays flat but the outer cover spine is a bit stiff so it's sometimes hard to make it 180 degree flat. I don't mind about this much but I'll recommend them to make a soft spine for the cover. Let's have a pen and pen test. I've collected a bunch of pens that I own and I'll check this notebook by smudging the inks as well. I'm starting with the Matador black gel pen that I use for my notes and it smudges very often. So I'm going to smudge it by counting 1 second, 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, then 30 seconds and 1 minute to 10 minutes. For the counting, it may differ by 1 to 5 seconds for the minutes. As I expected, this pen stopped smudging after 3 minutes. Then I tested Pilot High Tech Point Gel Pen, which didn't smudge after 3 seconds. I was a bit hurry for the next one, but it didn't smudge after 5 seconds. Then I tried Tombow Furnsky Hard Tip and Softer Brush Pens, which were soaked after 3 seconds only. This zebra brush pen was all dried out so I moved on with the Pentel sign pen and photo touch brush pen. Both haven't smudged within 5 seconds. Then I used my superior micro line fine liner which is a bit watery and soaked after 11 seconds. 
then i tried pilot white gel pen which always smudge and it takes the most time to be soaked but it was great in the paper and only took 40 seconds then i go with the monte silver gel pen which fully soaked after 20 seconds i always use pilot wild gel pen to correct my mistakes and it blends with the paper easily as well i knew sakura people micron won't smudge after 10 seconds I was amazed after swatching the acrylic paint pen in this notebook. It didn't smudge after 10 seconds. I mean, it's incredible. As this pen always smudges even after 1 minute in any paper I use. This notebook was great with the Cryola Super Tips, Cyan Pens and Ball Pens as well. After that, we're moving to test out some of the brush pens. It blends good with the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. Here I was a bit slow while blending with the water. I can't wait for this part. I was amazed by how this paper can take this much water. It's not watercolor paper but it was very very good with the watercolors and acrylic paints also. I tried some regular rubber and clear stamps and inks, so the brown ink is more watery and it doesn't look good in this paper. So the pens I used didn't bleed at all, though I forgot to swatch some brush pens many times at first but later I did it off camera and it didn't bleed as well. As I used plenty of water, it was a bit warped at first but later they got flat like before. I was like, what? <laughs> I wish I could test out alcohol based markers, but unfortunately, I don't have any. If you talk about the prices, it's a bit on the pricey side. It costs 34 euro and shipping costs varies. I don't have to pay for the notebook and shipping costs, but as I got it on post and I only have to pay 2.8 US dollar or 200 taka for the customs. Overall, I'm pretty much impressed about this notebook and I would highly recommend it as it's good with any pens and mostly with watercolors and acrylic colors. When they offered me to try this out, I was attracted by the environment aspect as well. Thank you so much to Lin and your Bujo for this cute note and sending me this lovely notebook. Before ending this video, I would like to say thank you to you all for watching my videos and sending me much love and support this year. I hope the new year brings much positivity and joy towards you and your loved ones. Happy new year and bye guys.